If you're looking for luxury and a sleek modern look, Vita Modern Homes is a perfect match. I can't recommend them enough. I've been in construction pretty much my whole life and I look with a pretty critical eye. Um, these guys are over the top on everything. And that's kind of how they've positioned their company. They, they pick up, according to them, where other builders leave off. Uh, and that includes the methods they use, that includes the products they use. Half of what they put in this house seems like was imported. Uh, it's an incredible design. I can't wait to show you the inside. Vita is an all custom builder. Uh, they've got several designs that they've developed on their own you can choose from or you can collaborate with them and, and make your own. They will build on your lot if you come up with a lot or you can use one of their lots. They generally have several lots available in different locations. Um, right now they're servicing the whole Cincinnati Dayton market as well as Columbus. Um, they've got several high-end projects running at any given time. All right, the one we're touring today is halfway between Dayton and Cincinnati in Lebanon, Ohio. They call this one the Brooklyn design. Four car garage, six bedrooms, five bathrooms. Uh, average price point on this, this one was about 1.3 million. Um, and once you go through it, it, you'll probably think it's more like a $2 million house. Uh, they've done a great job with it. Like all my tours, I try and do it in one take or as few takes as possible. It's supposed to replicate you walking through this home. Uh, so you can get that real tour experience. Less production, more about you as the buyer. Turn this around. Let's do a quick scan of the neighborhood here. These are all large estate lots. Most of them are under construction or have been built on already. This home in particular backs up to some wetlands, which is nice because it'll never be developed. And this home has incredible views. Like all Vita Modern Home designs, uh, the windows are everywhere and they're massive. All right, let's go in this thing. Can't wait to see the inside. The door itself, the front door, uh, has a post hinge on the left side. Hopefully you can see it in this video as I'm walking in. Actually, I'll just take a quick step back. It's a pivot hinge right there. Definitely taking my shoes off for this one. Enter right into the living room and I'm gonna turn around and do a view back at the door in a second here so you can see a really cool feature. These windows are incredible. The stairs down to the basement is right here. All of the lighting in this house is super high end, like everything else. But uh, you can see the personal touch of Renee Lincoln, who owns Vita and her husband. Um, they come up with these designs and you can see their, their personal signature on everything. These are Anderson 400 series windows. The tray ceilings really set this off. Now the feature for the door I wanted to mention was this dropped soffit kind of delineates the entry space from the rest of this. I'm hoping this video really shows the expanse here, this room. So you got a fireplace that's not currently on and a huge TV. This wall has a really cool texture. All the tile in this house is imported from Italy. All the stone is imported from Italy as well. A lot of the cabinetry, well I think all the cabinetry actually, uh, is important. It's all European, European design and from Europe. So some of it's from Italy, if not all of it. One of the awesome features of this kitchen is this entertaining window. It's an accordion window, all slides this direction. Let's do a cut scene to that real quick. all super high-end appliances from Thermador. 
kitchen wouldn't be complete here without this pot filler. Now one feature I really like is the range hood here is hidden inside the cabinetry. A lot of architects or designers choose to celebrate the hood and build it out and do it super obvious. Uh, they've kind of developed a pattern of hiding their hood on the inside so the cabinetry can be continuous. Um, of course, that's all subject to whatever the buyer's designs are, but... All Wi-Fi enabled appliances. So if you went back this hallway, we've got this stunning window. If you went back this hallway, we've got our pantry. Let's just go ahead and do it. We've got our pantry to the right. I have a coffee bar area, a couple cabinets, and then all your shelving to the left. I wasn't gonna show the laundry room, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. It is unfinished. Uh, well, un not completed, we'll say. It's not unfinished. But there's a lot of cool built-ins. You've got a really nice live edge bench here with this hand-scraped uh, backsplash but I just like the layout on this and it gets the same super luxurious window treatment that the rest of the house gets, even though it's the laundry room. All of these solid doors with their cool hardware are on every doorway in the house. Uh, this garage is heated and super bright because all four garage door bays are glass, have glass doors on them. Epoxy floor, of course. Gonna take a quick spin back. You can see the gas heating unit up there. Who would not want this garage space? Massive, even has some extra space over there with your exit door on the back. back through the kitchen into the main living entertainment area. You've got kind of a split layout over here. You've got your master back in here tucked away, which I love, uh, separate from the rest of the bedrooms, which are over on this side. It's really a nice layout in my opinion. Still close, still accessible if you have kids, uh, but sound wise, it's separated. Let's look at the rear here real quick. Really nice outdoor living space that kind of meshes with the kitchen and the living area right here. Um, when you look out the back, there will be a pool out here, uh, possibly this year, but it's not installed yet. Love this look out here. Let's take a look at the master suite. Stunning outdoor visuals, like everywhere else in this house. Tray ceiling. Closet, which is no less luxurious than everywhere else in here. so you can get a full view. Double doors. I love this double door scene. And then an entire bathroom here of Italian marble.
this bay window is covered with these blinds just because there's so much brightness in here. I'm trying to get some focus with my camera. No door on the shower. I definitely like that design. Floor to ceiling marble and uh, level floor shower. You can, you don't have to step over a dam. Extra tall vanity because uh, it was a request from the owner. Personal preference there. And then separate toilet room. Again, keep in mind, um, you could purchase this actual model if you wanted to. Well this design and they could build this for you. Um, this one is occupied, uh, is being lived in and they're using it as a model right now. Uh, but if you wanted this design. So keep in mind, Vita does offer this same design to anybody who wants it. So if you like what you see here or you just wanted to take parts of this and collaborate with them on another design and add that to it, you could do that also. They're very interactive with their clients. There are three bedrooms on the upper level, two down this hallway. We've got powder room here. Love this nautical color theme, color scheme. No expense spared on anything in this home. Here is also one of their signature looks. I'm gonna pull it closed. On whichever room or bedroom is designated as an office or study, uh, they do a full glass door with a large pull handle. Pivots both ways. Super cool touch. This bedroom connects the bathroom to this bedroom back here. Now, interesting design here, which I really like. There are, it's a shared toilet space to the right here with the shower. But I'm gonna back out. So from this bedroom, you have your own private sink for this bedroom. Shared toilet and shower space in the middle and then separate sink again for the sh for the connected bedroom so each bedroom has a private area with doorways that shut it all off for each side and an extra large closet let's see the bottom level of this home which is just as impressive as the upper in a lot of ways Some of these finishes down here are yet to be completed or they've yet to make uh, the finished design choices on the wall hangings, that sort of thing. So this is kind of bar area here. Walk out on this side. Vita does, uh, uses Hanson audio. It's pre, every home is pre-wired uh, from Hanson.
Hanson's one of the top of the line AV providers in this area, you know you're getting a great job if they do your install and design. So you've got this large entertaining area with the walkout, and then you have a separate hallway back here for the bedrooms on this level. Bathroom on the right with, again, super high vanity. You can't really tell from this camera shot, but they're unusually high. Rear mechanical area is over here with your furnace. Hall closet. And then bedroom to the left and bedroom to the right. We're gonna go in this one. Which has another shared bath. We'll just go ahead and walk through that. With that same separate sink idea, just for this bedroom. Then you have a shared toilet and shower space. So I love how low the side views on this home are. Um, we are built, you know, at grade on the front, but it drops away pretty quick on the back side. And another bathroom tucked away, or another sink tucked away here. All of these mirrors are digital. They're just not all turned on. And then bedroom with incredible view here. You can see out this window. This home does have a generac set up, so a uh, full house generator, which you would want at this level. This takes you back out to the hall. And then one last bedroom here, which is being used as the gym. I would love to have those windows in any gym.